Hello there Apps by viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it's with The Quest Keeper. The Quest Keeper is a combination of Crossy Road, which is to say Frogger, and a roguelike, let's say something like a Wayward Souls. That's a pretty good example of a roguelike. The idea is that you play this little happy chap in the middle here and you need to make it through all of these stages uh, trying to get as many uh, coins and open as many chests as you possibly can. If I go over this little thing here, that's a revive block and I can pay money to go ahead and restart there if I so desire. And uh, you might notice that stuff is kind of falling away from me. Oh god, here we go, here we go, there we go. Uh, blocks fall away from you if you're not careful, if you tread over them. Um, and yeah, you're sort of lighting your way through here, going up to these chests and opening them. Uh, the mode that I'm in at the moment is endless. Oh, I fell down a the hole. There we go. See, I can, at the top there, I can revive for eight of those coins, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit no. You fall to your doom, says the quest keeper, and oh -ha! we managed to get far enough that we've got some more money. We open this chest. There we are. So now we can restart. There's very minimal UI here, but if we want to, you know, we were in an endless mode. This is the eternal quest of the Dark Order that we were on, but I've also unlocked Bane of the Fallen. So let's get, give that one a go. But before then, I'm going to see, have I got any more cool things? No, hmm. Moving blocks don't push you as much. Protects against swinging axes. Protects against spinning swords. Let's go with that one. Let's unlock that. That looks quite dandy. And we've already unlocked some new shoes. We've got these enchanted sandals of the alchemist. Let's move away from there. We've got pop those on. That will mean that we don't... Um, the blocks don't fall as quickly. And this is my kinetic rod of the Psychonaut, which allows me to go ahead and open chests automatically. Now, because we've changed mode, you can see that the, the layout is very, very different. They're all randomly generated. But this one has mostly just f blocks that fall away. That's the big deal with this mode. And, uh, oh, they're falling, they're falling. So each mode that you unlock gives you a new challenge. Oh, my goodness me. Uh... And, you know, to, to, to try and get through the game, you know, you, so you've got this endless mode, you've got lots of different modes in here. And like I say, this is the one that asks you to get through and watch your footing. Oh, goodness me. So you don't want to be standing around for too long. There we are. We managed to get through there. You might have noticed that my scepter's changed. This will open any chests that I walk past automatically. I don't think I'm going to do very well here. You can see that my best is 97 for this stage. For this kind of stage. And oh dear, I think I'm going to fall down. Oh goodness, I just fell to my death. Oh well. So uh, what we'll do is we'll change that back to a different mode. We'll go back to our endless mode. And yeah, so it is cool. Uh, the Quest Keeper. It is... It, it, I think it's... I think it's definitely going to appeal to those kind of people. Oh, that was terrible, but I did at least open that one chest. I think it's definitely going to appeal to those high score chases among you, and I think if you've already exhausted Crossy Road, then I definitely think this is going to be for you. And it's got m a bit more of a an RPG element to it, a bit more of a collection mechanic going on than the gacha stuff that's in Crossy Road. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite quite enamoured with this one. The Quest Keeper. It uh, should be out in the next couple of weeks. Do let me know if you plan on picking it up. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.